Hey everyone, welcome to the pre-work of our very first challenge. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up the field that we talked about in the challenge intro, and that's the potential value field. And then we're also gonna talk a little bit about what the sales team is trying to accomplish and why this flow will be helpful for them once it's all built out. So I'm here on the homepage of the sales app in Salesforce, and the first thing I'm gonna do is click leads. And I like clicking on the tab of the object that we need to add fields to, because once you click on the tab, if you mouse over to the setup menu and press the gear icon, you'll see that this edit object option is available. And when we click it, it will correspond with the tab that we're on. So you see that by clicking edit object, we get taken directly to the uh, object manager for the lead. And that's how I personally like to get there. So we are gonna go back and uh, we'll just open up a lead record and you see that we have our uh, details section here. And so we need to add a new field here to correspond with what we had in the challenge. So I'll press lead, going back to the object manager, I'm gonna click fields and relationships, and we're gonna add a new field. So I'll mouse over and press new. And this is how you add fields in Salesforce no matter what object you're on, so the, the process is the same. Um, and for the potential value field, this will be a currency field. So there's going to be a currency field here, and we'll select currency from the data type and press next. And we're going to label this potential value. And we'll set the length to be 16 and the decimal places to be 2. And you can see that I kind of quickly moved from the value to the length in the decimal places, and I was able to do that by pressing tab on my keyboard. So once it's set up like this, we'll press next. And then we get to decide which profiles see or have access to see the field. We default into the system administrator profile. So I'll just make sure that that box is checked, which it is, and that's good enough. And I'll press next. And then I have no idea which layout is being used. My guess is this bottom one, the lead layout, but I'll just add the field to every layout and press save. And so I'm going to leave the object manager open here in this tab, but we'll go back to um, the detail section of this lead and just press refresh. And I'll click details again. And my hope, and it is, uh, the potential value field is now available here. So you can see that we have a field and we could, you know, potentially enter information if we wanted to. And so let's talk a little bit more about what the sales team is uh, trying to do. So uh, when the sales team, you know, has a lead, they enter the potential value field here, and they'll say, okay, this, this lead is potentially worth, let's say uh, $5,000, and they'll press save, and that gets saved in there. And then leads in Salesforce are converted to opportunities. So you can see there's a little convert button here. And if we were to press this button, we could then create an opportunity. And so that's what the, the sales team is doing. And standard Salesforce functionality lets uh, administrators like us map any single one of these fields onto corresponding fields on the opportunity object. So let's go back to the lead object manager tab that we have open, and I'll show you where that's done. So you can see we have this new field button. If we mouse over to the far right, we see there's a map lead fields button. So we'll press that. And you can see that the lead fields show up here on the left. And then we're able to map this lead field, so current generator with an S, current generators, number of locations, potential value, and then we can pick a field on the account that we want to map to. And so you can see that there's a description up here. It says, use the tabs to map each of your organization's custom lead fields to one of your custom account contact or opportunity fields. That's an important limitation there, that it's only the custom account contact or opportunity fields. And so when I click on this opportunity tab, you'll see that the potential value field exists here, but then when I click open the mapping, there is no mapping. So I can't map it to the amount field like the sales team wants, because what the sales team wants is for uh, any value that's entered in this uh, field on the lead to automatically go into that amount field on the opportunity. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna middle click the object manager so that we open up another tab in our browser. And this time, instead of working with a lead, I'm gonna go back to the object manager and I'm gonna type in opportunity. This is the second step of the pre-work where 
I'm going to add a new field to the opportunity. And this will be called potential value. And so we're creating a custom field that's the same, you know, it's the same currency field as the custom field on the lead. Oh, seems like potential value saved in there from Chrome, but I'll just type it in again. We'll set the length to 16 and the decimal places to 2. Press next. Press next. And press save. And so now we have a custom field on the opportunity that matches our custom field on the lead. So if I come back to the lead, I think I'll need to refresh. I'll just double check. Yeah, so the potential value is not showing up in the opportunity field because we didn't refresh. So I'll refresh the tab. I'll click on the opportunity tab again. And now under the custom opportunity fields, the potential value field that we just created is mappable. So what we're saying is, hey, when you convert a lead, take whatever's listed in the potential value field on the lead and move it over to the opportunity. And we'll want to remember to press save once we make that change. And I'll take this back to the screen. And that's it for the pre-work. So we've created our two fields and talked a little bit about what needs to happen. Uh, primarily, you know, in this business use case, the potential value on the lead needs to be mapped to the opportunity potential value. And the reason we're doing that is because we can't map it directly to the amount field. That's what the sales team wants, uh, but we can't do that in the UI. So that's where our flow comes in, and that's what we'll get started building in the next lecture.